Let's see how to design using the online tool Tile Planner. Once registered, we can see our gallery of saved projects. The gallery contains both preset projects made available by the company itself and the ones created and saved by the user. In this case, the section Your Projects is empty, but it's possible to open a new project by clicking on the plus. When creating the project, we find a simple square layout with nothing but a light bulb. Any operation can be made to modify the preset layout. First of all, any wall can be dragged with the left mouse button. If we prefer to set a precise dimension, we can select the wall dimension and enter the specific value. We can then decide which vertex to move and which to keep still either the blue or the pink one. When selecting the wall, we find some interesting features. Split wall allows to create a vertex dividing the wall in two. Each of these walls can be separately moved. Corners and vertices can be moved separately. We'll use this feature to create an oblique wall, also making use of the corners created with closed walls. In any moment, we can undo the last operations using the specific control or control Z on the keyboard, or redo them with the specific control or control Y on the keyboard. Another interesting feature is the one that allows to create an internal wall. They can be modified just like all other walls. We can drag them, split them, or move their vertices as we wish. Vertices can be deleted by simply merging them with the other closed ones. On the right side, we see the project sheet that can be completed with all the necessary data. We must fill in the mandatory fields in order to save what's been done so far by clicking on Save on the toolbar. When saved, the project will be found in your projects section and can be reopened anytime. Remember to save the project from time to time. Another feature available when selecting the wall allows us to create wall objects, like a short wall or a platform. Like all other objects, wall objects can be moved and rotated inside the layout. The snap to other walls will also still be active. When selected, the wall object's border turns green and we can see its parameters on the right side. Here we can modify its dimensions and distances from corners, even type in the precise values. On the top right corner, we find a slider that switches the view from layout to 3D navigation and to 2D wall front view. In 3D navigation, we can move using the mouse. With the left mouse button, we can rotate the room. The mouse wheel zooms it in and out, while the right mouse button moves the point of view without rotating it. Let's see how to insert objects and tiles. The elements catalog available on the left side is divided in four sections. Tiles, lane patterns, 3D items, and modular furnishings. Browse catalog on the left side will open a second section with filters that will help us find what we're looking for. In this case, for example, we'll look for a door, so we'll select doors category, which will appear on the bottom, and the research will be filtered according to this criterion. The software will show us all available doors. Let's choose one and drag it in any position on any wall. 
When we don't need the filter any longer, we can deactivate it using this cross. Let's also position a window likewise. All elements can be looked for and positioned with the same mechanism. Let's place a vanity unit, for instance. For each element, the right side of the software shows all features and are easily editable. Let's modify this shelf's elevation, for example. Items can also be positioned in 3D and on walls front view according to our preference. These arrows on the right side will allow us to precisely move any object. Very similar mechanisms are also available for tiles. When we find the article we're interested in, we'll drag and drop it on the surface to be tiled. In case of a horizontal surface, this will be entirely tiled. At this point, we can modify the tiling origin, direction, and also the grout's dimensions and color. More complex tilings can be created using lane patterns found in their specific section on the left. After choosing the correct one among those available, let's drag and drop it on the surface or even on top of the already laid tiles. The most complex patterns are created for using multiple tiles, even with different shapes and formats. Let's choose a staggered lane pattern that is designed to contain three tiles. After positioning it, the first tile to be shown is the already laid one. We'll need to choose two more. Tiles can be replaced over and over again on the pattern until we get the desired result. Working on vertical surfaces is slightly different, instead, as we use horizontal stripes. When placing the first tile, the software will create one row at the bottom of the wall. We can increase or decrease the tiling height with these two buttons or by typing the height value to be applied. This tiling can then be copied on all room's walls. We can switch to the wall front view from the same menu. It's an alternative to the same feature on the top right corner. On the bottom we find a small sketch of the room and the current wall is highlighted in orange. With the arrows on the sides we can move from one wall to the other. Let's try to recreate a slightly more complex tiling with different horizontal stripes. An interesting alternative is to split the wall to apply different tilings. This could be useful to place vertical stripes and shower corners. Creating a platform allows to create different tiling areas on the same surface.